Now we have to prepare our second pin bar by cleaning with rubbing alcohol and applying our double stick adhesive. First we find our desired center point on our table and we mount our T-shaped carrier sheet template to our pin bar. Then we match up the center line on our table to the center line on our template and tape down. Tape your vertical carrier sheet on all sides and on your horizontal carrier sheet only tape the side opposite of your pin bar. Once the template has been taped, we peel back the template and remove the adhesive backing to our pin bar and use the template to place our pin bar to the table. Once your pin bar has been firmly attached, remove your template and store in a safe place in case you need it at a later point. Next we will need our grid sheet. In order to fit our table, it may be necessary to cut excess off the top and bottom. Before placing our grid sheet on our table, remove the protective layer. Using your template, line up the center line and your image top line and tape the grid sheet down to your table. Now we are ready to line up our films. First, attach a fresh carrier sheet to our pin bar. The best choices for your first film is going to be either black traps, white underlays, or the film with the topmost part of your artwork. Find the desired position of your film no higher than the image top line. First tape your film down to the carrier sheet, then remove your carrier sheet from the pin bar. Fold back your film and remove excess carrier sheet from below your image area. Tape the reverse side of your carrier sheet and film and remount to the pin bar. Using your first film as a guide, repeat the process with your additional films one film at a time. Using one film at a time helps prevent distortion of registration. Once all films are aligned, we're ready to bring them over to alignment at our exposure unit.